This animation shows how we perform stroke intervention in patients. When a patient is having a big stroke, there's typically a blockage of one of the major blood vessels to the brain. That blockage is often caused by a blood clot that forms somewhere else, like in the heart or in the carotid artery in the neck, and then breaks off and travels up and plugs up one of the main arteries going to the brain. So that part of the brain is at risk of dying because of the lack of oxygen and nutrients um, from the blockage from the blood flow. In situations like this, we can intervene. We can go in from the femoral artery in the leg with a catheter, as you can see here, place it in the carotid artery in the neck, that's the blue catheter. Through that catheter, we take up a smaller catheter, a microcatheter, and we catheterize the arteries inside the brain, the carotid artery, and then into the middle cerebral artery. You can see the clot within the middle cerebral artery, which supplies blood to that half of the brain. So we bring up our microcatheter all the way up into the middle cerebral artery in the brain and cross the blockage. Once we're across the blockage, we bring up a mechanical thrombectomy device, which is kind of a stent on a stick kind of configuration. Uh, it's a stent-like device that we unsheath within the clot uh, in the blockage. You can see the stent is opening up and actually restoring blood flow immediately. We then give it about five minutes, allowing the radial force of the stent to open up outward and allowing the clot to extrude within the lumen or inside of the stent. After the five minutes is over, we inflate a balloon in the carotid artery in the neck, which arrests flow, and then we pull back the stent retriever device with the clot entangled inside it into that balloon catheter. The purpose of inflating the balloon in the carotid artery in the neck is to reverse flow from the brain arteries and into the catheter and out of the patient's body. In this way, any particles that break off from the blood clot within the stent retriever will get sucked out of the patient's body. They don't go out distally and cause more strokes.